Okay, guys, welcome back to another Let's Play. I'm Wolf680, and this is New Cycle. What is New Cycle? New Cycle is a strategy colony survival game set in Diesel Punk S post apocalyptic 2073. After a series of solar flares deprived the world of all its technology advancements in the year 2034, the game is developed by Core and Engaged and is available on Steam. It just came out, I believe it was Friday. Um, the game is developed, or in the game, you're tasked with rebuilding the metropolis and managing the morale, efficiency, and workforce size, developing forgotten technologies, and inter interacting and acting societal rules to bring upon a new world. The game has a wide range of features and mechanics, including tech trees and different biomes. Your managing resources and citizens' needs is critical for your success and failures can lead to, to cascading effects. The game has received positive reviews for its unique concepts and complex but satisfying experience. Now, that's what they say online. Now, I've played it a couple of times already and I will say it's for a city builder it's a it's pretty good it's got some challenges that you do run into um, during the the series as the as you advance in your technology your technology trees so what we're gonna do we're gonna just start a new game I'm not gonna do the campaign with you cuz I think most of the videos you see online now is already that so we're just gonna jump into a a sandbox and we're going to um, we're going to stick to a standard timeline so basically it means we're going to start at the very beginning and work our way up versus the developed timeline where you just start in the cycle 5 so we're just going to do the standard timeline and we're not going to do the meadows we're going to start in the let's see here which one do we want to do here let's see here it's got little space for agriculture Scarce forest resources and harsh weather conditions. Scarce water sources. Mild with moderate precipitation and rich mineral deposits. Hmm. So, so each of the little maps have their challenges. So we're like on the meadows. You get a lot of agriculture and water. And you have a lot of forest. But less settleable lands um and mountains are coming soon which i'm really excited to see how that one plays out but we're gonna go with the steps um for this playthrough um difficulty we're gonna leave it on normal all the way down just keep it straightforward since i haven't done a whole lot of the game so so we're gonna go ahead and start Now on this let's play we're gonna try to run it all the way through to the end of the this I guess they call them cycles it would be your techno your technology trees um, your del, del uh, I can't talk tonight um, the dev Della their technology trees I want to try to get all the way through to I believe it's five or six cycles that they have um, actually no it's not that what is that cycles so there's eight cycles so we're gonna try to get to the age of st cold steel in this let's play and hopefully nothing bad happens in the game so our first task is pick a location for our main kind of like main housing or I guess the mayor's town what is it called let's see here the main hall so let's look for a good spot She got some old remnants of old city. I think I'm gonna. Uh, let's just put it right here. We're gonna put it right up here next to the. I know it's got roads on the map, but from far I can tell the your your villagers doesn't actually use them. You have to still put your own roads in if you. When we go back to our residence, we have to put our own roads in for them to travel on. So, it looks like we got a message from the community. 
And basically, it's just they're selecting you as governor of the city, so you can. They basically want to put you in charge in how they develop the city. So we're going to continue it without the tutorial. All right. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to that technology tree and pick our first research. Um, we already start with the establishment, so we can go with the basic construction, which unlocks the like the food house or the yeah soup kitchens and simple meals and like a storage or we could go with this the housing so actually we're gonna I'm gonna pick the whichever well actually we can't pick either one of those right now we have to have um, some lumber to build them so so right now we're gonna just go on and start building up the base or the city so we're gonna go to resources field camps gathering camps and the well so the field camps gather resources, stones, logs, iron. Gathering camps is more for food, so it would be mushrooms, fish, and meats. And the well is for water. So what we're going to do is throw down the field camp first to get the wood going. So once we slate it, you notice we got all these little nodes show up showing you what's in the area. So when we put this down, the circle that's around it is what will be harvested. So let's see if we can find one that's got... Let's see here. I know we're going to need stone and wood off the bat. So let's put it here. So that gives us a couple of stone and quite a few trees. Uh, yeah. Nope, we can't get the iron. But that's all right. Put it right there. And, and we do start with a few citizens. What is it? The citizens, I'm going to call them. The population. Um, we start with 35. So now instead of waiting on this to be built we will go through um increasing the game speed so we speed it up so we're not waiting for everything to the process because as you can tell it does take them a while to get there the guy has to walk all the way over from the main the main hall there so all right so now we'll go back to regular so what we're going to do is add a workforce so we need some wood cutters, some stone cutters, so we can add three to each to do each of those jobs. So we're gonna just go ahead and max those out. And what they'll do, they'll start mining and chopping trees. Now while that they're working on that, we're also gonna go ahead and see if we can put a well in. Again, it, you're very limited on where we can put these because you want to put it to where it's feeding off a lot of the nodes now like this would be a good spot it's got three so why don't we do that we'll just move it up but see now these little spots here are going to show up for a mine later on when we um when we unlock mining i believe so we don't want to put it in the way of that so we're just gonna see if we can put about right there so it leaves us room for our mine because as we can see right now we have a workforce doing normal task, which affects their morale by negative eight, and their efficiency is only at 50, which we can change that as we develop the city. So right now, they're only needing water, which is fine. We're just still gonna try to move them ahead. So if we look back over here, these guys are still steady doing their thing and if we look up here we're does it show oh there it goes so stone we're producing three a day we're not using any right now um and the wood it doesn't show it producing any but it we've seen it it's going plus i believe it's plus six let's wait till this one goes through and see yeah plus six so there we go. So it also, if you look on here, it shows that the available resources for the stone is 6,462. And for the wood, it's 1,204. So basically, you're going to get that much many resources out of these nodes that we have inside of this circle. So that's something to keep in mind. So we might need another, another um, it's called field camp, later on to get more trees for our logs 
So we got our well. We have our our field camp. Now let's get something to get some food going. Where is okay? There's some over here, so we can get meat and mushrooms over here. Is there anything closer? Oh, we can get all four of those. Well, that's not too far away. Any other places? Just mushrooms. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so we want something kind of like this. So on this, we want to try to get, again, just like the the wooden, the trees and the stone. We want to try to get as many of those little nodes inside the, the building's perimeter. I guess would be the word for it. And I'm going to rotate this so the entrance is that way. And it don't look like, I don't think, yeah, we can't get that other beef one, but it's all right. Right now we don't, can't do nothing with it anyway. So can we get, can we get the other mushroom? There we go. So we're going to slap that there. And like I said, it's going to take a while because, again, it's so far away. I think, we, yeah, it's way up here. So, but. But once we get it going, it'll. Once we get the roads in, they'll move a little faster. So now, while we're waiting for some more resources to come in, let's see what all we have. We got those residents. Just can't do anything with that lumber mill. So we need lumber. And if we remember, we need the lumber to develop the next. Yeah, the next. Um, technology that we can do so we need 24 so we might as well go ahead and build us a lumber mill well, let's put it close to I like keeping stuff close together let's we'll put it I'm gonna put the first I'm gonna put it right here that way it can um, be close and they don't have to travel as far and I'll actually even go as far as putting a road between them that'll be whoop. Oh, well, we need lumber for the roads, so so let's speed it back up until that's done. Let's see here. There you go. Well, this game's pretty detailed. I mean, if you get up, zoom in, everybody's doing their own their jobs, and you can actually watch them do their jobs, which is good. Okay, now the lumber mill's built, and you notice we got three little red symbols letting us know that one, it's not doing anything to it, it needs some workers, and there's no road. So let's go ahead and select it. We're going to want it to, right now all we can do is lumber, so we want to make sure it's doing lumber. Now this one can take up to five workers, so we're going to just max this one out since we're still in the early stages. And we got all these people that's not doing anything. So we're going to max that out. And then, like I said, we're going to connect. Once we get some lumber, we're going to connect these two. So they can travel back and forth from here to there in a little quicker uh, time frame. Until we connect this all the way up to the main camp, it'll have the, uh, the road flag. So it looks like we have a... A group of travelers that just came into the area Ooh. saving okay so what do they want it's like they're just um weren't a group of wanderers that are looking to join our our little I'm going to call it our beginning city. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. So that gives us more workforce. So, oops, where's our, oops, where's our base at? Ah, here it is. Okay. Now that we got the lumber coming in, we're going to start our, learning our next technology. So we're going to do the soup kitchen first. The one for food, the basic construction. And when we, oops, when we do these, they take, they can't, it's hard to see, but over on the left side, it says 24 hours, 30 hours. So that's how many in-game hours it takes to learn that particular technology. Um, there is a progress bar at the bottom. It shows you, you got 18 hours left. 
before it's completed. So we're gonna, oh, the game is already on fast forward. So we're gonna keep fast forwarding the time, letting the time pass, letting this stuff build up. We're gonna check, um, check down here. This is built, but I forgot to put workers in it. So we're gonna head and set that to max so they can start gathering mushrooms. Um, because the mushrooms can be used to make the simple meals the certain crops and are only available during certain seasons so like right now we're in autumn down on the right hand side there it shows it's got a little progression bar until when we're going into the end of autumn the beginning of winter once winter gets here mushrooms won't be available so we need to harvest as many of those as we can at the beginning so we can at least make it through the winter until we can upgrade you know unlock this right here so here we go we just moved into it the the cycle two which is our city level so basically let's go back up here we've actually progressed enough to unlock that so now we can access that technology tree cycle three it shows us we just need population of 50 and knowledge knowledge is gained by how many s citizens you have in your your town if we look back into here it shows us we get 38 um knowledge points a day per or for all our citizens so that's what we're we get one per citizen basically or per worker um i forget what these guys are called craftsmen you get a little bit more and specialists you get a little bit more so it kind of builds them up so it looks like we have we're losing hope have a, a matter going on let's see here our stable living standards are about to consume us we strive to keep a close eye on the people's morale we don't maintain a balance we do nothing but watch our home disintegrate so the morale of the city is not very very high right now um it gives you a choice of what you can do um I'm gonna it increases and it also gives you what the consequences are so like if we pick we can do better it increases the worker class morale um, or that's our our goal and then if we don't do anything things only get worse so we're gonna go with it make it better and if we click on them you see right now oh, it's right now it's negative three because we're distributing low on the food so we're gonna move it up to medium and order up the medium so this improves their morale some so now we got a plus five so and we're also going to cut their work time down to almost basically um i'm going to call it i don't know if that's done in hours or what but we're going to drop it down to 0.5 because what it does it gives them morale so now we're up to 10 so we're, we're making them a little happier for it um right now we have 38 adults four children and 24 of them don't have somewhere to stay so the next thing we need to do is right now they're some of them are just camping out in camps all over the field here so what we need to do is look at the residents and we didn't research i choose to research the soup kitchen and that has completed well let's slow this down um this has completed so what we need to do is go ahead and move into the living standards and get them some housing researched so now while that's researching I am gonna put the roads in um, where did I put this other stuff right here okay we're gonna let the roads determine where everything goes. So we're just gonna actually put that in there. There we go. So now if you notice that the the main hall and the lumber mill are connected, they're red warning labels gone we're gonna take this one if we got enough resources all the way down to our camp where did I put that 
forgot where I put the entrance. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so we're gonna put it to here. I go ahead, drag this down like that. There and now that one, they're more efficient with as far as getting back and forth to work. And if you notice, we're going into winter, and the mushrooms are not available. So what little mushrooms we did harvest has to make it through or yeah they'll have to make it through winter with the little bit of simple meals that we have but if we're consuming about 15 meals a day so that's where the soup kitchen comes in so we're gonna throw this down I'm gonna put it actually I'm gonna put it I'll we'll put it back over here by the main hall here if you see on the square there the little triangle that's the entrance to the building so that needs to be next to the wall or not wall to the road that way they can access it come in and out so we're gonna put it there and if we look it's got a red building marker so basically we're just short some lumber because we built all the roads so we just gotta wait for five more and then they'll start building it and then we can set it up so let's check on our our tree okay so our living standards is finished while we're waiting on that we're gonna look over here hunting would be a new, another one to go ahead and get into but we need tools for that to get tools we need iron so which would be this tree here but we also need logs or lumber to start the research on that but we also want to finish our our little soup kitchen first so let's speed up the time a little bit to get some of this moving up let's see here. there we go so now they'll finally start working on that now if we look back down here since I adjusted their 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 rate they're only producing seven a day and we're consuming 34 a day so what we have to do is kind of go back into the workers tab and move this back up it's gonna hurt their morale oh I don't want to hurt it that bad let's put it uh, let's move it up a little bit and now what that's gonna do is it's gonna move our production up as far as how many they're making a day um, we want to do keep that in positive numbers because long as we're making more than we're consuming it'll start going up and then we'll have basically a stockpile of resources so we can have them when we need them and right now we're trying to get our morale up to 40 and we're only at five so we've got a little ways to go and we're still distributing kind of heavy on the food but we're not producing any and we're using 15 a day so so hopefully the other stronger ooh, mr. Miller kind of got loud there um, but as soon as the kitchen's done we'll that'll fix that problem so let's fast forward a little bit more and if you notice it's not really counting down too fast but let's get in there all right so now it's done so we're gonna we're gonna pick simple meal and then we can pick what we're gonna make this meal out of well right now we only got mushrooms so we're gonna pick that it uses six mushrooms and two water which our water supply to make eight in a two hour time frame that's at whoop, that's at a hundred percent efficiency so which we're gonna add four people we're at 75 percent workforce with a 30 percent efficiency so they're making it looks like eight meals every two hours which will put this back up in the positive I hope here as soon as it resets up there so okay so while that's going this is going let's look at our tree yeah so now we we've gathered gathered enough lumber to start our metalworks research so we're gonna go ahead and start that the power grid hunting and community needs now I'm going for hunting next because 
like I said, mushrooms don't grow during the winter, so it's hard to keep keep these going to feed people, especially as your village starts or city starts to grow. So we're gonna do honey next, and then we'll branch off into the power grids. Right now, the power the the main hall is making. It's not gonna let me. Yeah, the main hall is actually making power. Um. To sustain it, yeah, right there, 200 kilowatts. I don't know from what. Oh yeah, because it's already got a windmill, so that's what's um, producing the power that we're using now. So the windmills are not super important right off the bat, but they will come in to play shortly once we hit that next um, cycle upgrade. So in once we hit 12 more population. We're really going to start getting into the power hungry buildings. So while we're waiting, there's not a whole lot we can do. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can. We finished the shack. So let's, we got 10 people can live per basically shack. So it's kind of, so what we're going to do, we got basically 40 people. I'm going to go ahead and slap down five of them if I can I think we got enough resources um, just to be prepared for the next cycle so once we hit 50 we can worry about the rest of them yeah we had an enough because each of these y'all know we don't have enough lumber <laughs> lumber is what's killing us so but since we have an excess amount of logs I think I am gonna go ahead and put another Lumber mill down? Hang on a sec, guys. That is loud. There we go. Sorry, that was getting loud. So we're also going to put that down. So what we're going to do, since... What's it take? It's 24 locks. Okay, yeah, so they can go ahead and start building that. So let's go ahead and brush that and look our the de development is complete so now we can worry about moving on to the metal ages to let's see here or not metal ages but into the into the metals but while we're oh uh, we gotta put it down so hold on let's see here slow it back down Let's go ahead and assign this to lumber, put some more people to work. That way it'll start building our lumber up. So now our lumber is going to go up. And our community's asking for tools because we just unlocked them. So let's do it. So now we get a little quest that wants us to produce 65 basic tools. Uh, right here. So we go back to our little field camp. It can mine iron. However, this this particular field camp didn't have an iron around it. But if we go back to our resources and put another one down, there is a little note of four there. So we're gonna put us another field camp right here. And oh, and their shacks or their housing starting to finish building. So now they're moving in. So that'll start making them happy too. See our morale's already up to 48 just by starting to give them some housing. The, some of the basic needs, housing, jobs, and food. Cause the more that's working, the happier they are. We also completed um, an objective, which was to get the morale up. So we'll complete that. Are you, yeah, they're working on building that now. So lumber's coming in go down here so everything's still locked did we start our research no because we got to have tools okay so while we're waiting for the tools is there any of these we can do no okay so we're just waiting so time to speed it up okay now this is finished it does have stone so we do have enough people but I'm not gonna put them all cause we do have this one making the stone and the wood so we're just gonna give them three 
to start the iron. Um, we can always branch out if we need more of the wood or stone. But right now, we're gathering quite a bit. The wood, we're going through a lot, but we're also harvesting more than we're using. So we're going to... And that's only because we're building the, the houses here. So a couple more to go. Let's see here. Now. Let's see. Yeah. Now. Resources. Production. Oh, yeah. Right here. Productions. Okay. So we're going to go into a smith. They make the tools and wires but they use electricity and the forge actually smelts the iron we get so it's not it's two different buildings so one's for smelting copper iron the other one's for using those to make other items so tools and wiring so we're going to put a forge down i'm going to again i'm going to keep them kind of close so they don't have to walk so far i'm going to put that there the forge there and a smith we're going to put it Oh, I don't want to destroy my tree, so I'm going to put it right there. Oh, now see, this one, we have to kind of do it in stages anyway. So, we need a nine iron bars to do this one. And we need just a stone and lum lumber to do this one. So, the smithing building takes the iron bars that the forge is going to make. So... So, but they're getting started on that. So then we can start processing the iron we already have. See, we're already up to 48. We're doing 36 a day. So, which is not bad to start. But, so all the houses are done now. So this one should be empty. So, and this one has two empty slots. So as the village, or yeah, city. I'm going to call it a city, sorry. Um, as it starts to grow, they can move right on into houses they're they're not happy they need some entertainment they need health care and they need some security which if we look at our tech tree that's none of that stuff that's not for a if we till we move over into cycle three we get oh yeah surveillance right there so surveillance that's the guard towers um hospitals i believe is further down the line in the cycles so we're gonna unlock stuff in stages Ooh, not that this so entertainment will be first which would be like the tavern which will be coming up shortly then the security and then we'll unlock the hospitals so how's this looking okay so now we got the buildings up and need somebody that needs to know what it's gonna smell and it needs somebody to do it so there we go so now we should start seeing the ingots go up. And it looks like we have a small success. So we got five days of a morale boost. Um, we have some sick people. They need, oh, we need to check our food distribution, water distribution, and clothing, which we don't have no clothes. So we ain't going to worry about that. So, oh, and tools. So we don't have any tools yet, but everything's in the medium. But since we are let's see here yeah we are making more than what we need for the food and for well the water's a little low so we need to put another well in but we will go ahead and move this up give them some extra food and water and let's go ahead and put another well down real quick where was the first one we put down was here let's see here oh yeah here's a good spot it's got how many three yeah so let's put it down again. It's a little ways away from the our oh uh, there we go. We'll put it right. I can't tell. Let's just run this out here. Well, there we go. We're going to put it right there. Uh-oh. 
Looks like we have a fire. Oh, at the food camp. This gives you a chance. You know, you have to decide what way you want to handle the fires. If you do full response, it uses a lot more water. If you do balance, it's less water usage, but they're slower at it. Um, you run the risk of losing the building altogether versus just slightly getting it damaged, or you can just let it burn to the ground and hope it doesn't spread to the nearby buildings. So let's see if they, see every time they they're using water at 40 a tick, basically uh, every couple of seconds. So it's eating into our water. Uh, yeah, water supply. So it's, I guess it's a good thing we put up another well. So maybe they can get it built fast enough. We won't lose too much water. What's the other thing? Oh, and it's also storming, which affects makes our windmills if we had some work faster, but it also slows the workers down. So or the hunters, the gatherers, and fishermen. So it hurts food production. And tools are low, but that's because we're not making any. So as soon as they finish this, they'll start getting their tools. Hopefully they get it under control and don't spread to the town hall. <laughs> down here real quick yeah they're still doing good lumber mills or these guys are doing good okay nope there we go they got it out so so we didn't lose the building altogether but it does need to be repaired it needs some stone and lumber to repair or we can demolish it and rebuild it but the workforce takes us hit so we're just going to repair it I'll say it and destroy it and moving forward we can now upgrade the the main hall but can't do I don't think we can do that until the next when we cycle again when we hit the cycle here then the main hall will change the looks let's see what you Okay, so they want more secure shelters, which I've already done. They got housing, so they're good. All right. So, so our smithing building is ready. So let's give them some tools, put some people in there, so we can get the tools going. So the tools take iron ingots and lumber, so it takes both. And right now we're at, man, we're out of lumber. What are we working on that's eating up the lumber? Oh, and with this place catching fire, we also lost our workforce that was there, so we have to add those back. So now we're down to f having four people without a job. Okay, the well's up. Man, we're consuming a lot. I'm going to put the... Oh, put these guys back down to medi uh, yeah, medium water rations for right now. They're not happy no matter what for right now because they're waiting on tools. This is waiting on materials, which should be coming. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're making mushroom soup, okay. So that's going, so let's, let's fast forward a little bit and see if we can get some iron in this place. There it goes. Where's the iron going? Someone wants to speak. Okay, greetings chief. We are representative of a small community. Our expedition led us to your settlement and we are delighted to see such an advanced community. We would like to barter with you and turn this acquaintance into a trade partnership in these challenging times every link between those who have goods 
To spare is a boon. Okay, yeah, we would be happy to trade. So, let's, oh, there's where all our iron was going for our main hall upgrade. So, so we're going to get that upgraded. Now we should start being able to get some iron. Yeah, now our iron's going up, and it's going up eight per day. And our main hall has upgraded from tents to buildings. And our power's back online. Huh. Now it said there's a group of travelers, which are up here. Looks like they're more or less fortunate, so wanting to join. Okay, so that gives us an additional two. Oh yeah. Where's, there it is. So let's check our 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 skills. How many did we need? We needed twenty two. So any second now. We should be able to there it goes. Now let's go ahead and take that. That way we start getting food and then we'll worry about the tavern and then we'll move into the power. Because right now we're still in the positive with our just our main hall. Oh, I'm still on fast forward. Okay, so we're going to slow this back down. So we're going to go back down to our gathering lodge down here remember when we put it down we got the mushrooms and the 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 meat and also if you look see how this node is losing its blue outline it just means it's almost it's using it when this all goes gray it's used up they won't harvest anything out of that and then they'll move on to the other ones once they're all empty or all grayed out they won't harvest anything else from there because there's nothing else there to harvest same way with the meats but we're going to go ahead um we get meat and leather so we're just going to put three guys on this and from those two nodes we get 2,679 meats so we're going to leave that run there's no fish because we don't have it near a, a river or an ocean so we're so we don't have to worry about the fish but that does give us more food to to uh, use during the winter. Right now we're in summer of the year two. So now that we got those going, we'll go back up here and check our our tools. Our tools are going. They're still a little behind on the iron, which they're only making yeah three irons every two hours. Which we're making five and we're using six now are we having a surplus we're making 12 and consuming 12 so we could actually make another forge to speed up the iron process so let's do that because we do have some extra again we got a few extra villagers or citizens sorry uh, so we'll get that underway And the food, we're making 12 a day, consuming 20, 34. So, and we're making a surplus, uh, we're harvesting more now that we get the meat as well. So we're gonna make another kitchen, or you know, soup kitchen. Um, we're gonna put it, put it over here. That way they can eat when they're working. And we're, you know, our tools, I forgot our tools are not going to people yet. They're going to the work with irons quest. So once that gets to 65, this will start going up. We won't be using as many a day. Oh, somebody, oh, somebody's arrived to trade. I wonder why. So this guy's looking for meat. Basically how this works is there's a barter bartering value to each items depending on what cycle you're in. So like right now I have meat. I have twenty four in stock and they're worth two points. This guy's offering to trade iron, iron or or tools, and these are the values. So he's got 
11 points. So if I was to trade him for one tool, he's wanting 11 points worth of materials from me. So I would have to give him six because they won't confirm when it's one less. <laughs> So you have to be a little higher in their favor to get them to trade. So this is not worth it to me. Um, all his trades are high. So I'm going to reset this and just let it be. And I'll sometimes... Normally they walk down. I don't know why they're not walking down to the village. But... Or I keep calling it a village because it's small. It's not a city yet. We're in a village. Um, they normally walk down and then you do the trading by your main hall, but I don't know why they're not doing that this game. But let's check our development tree and see where we're at. So, because I didn't start another one, so let's go ahead and get the tavern so we can start bringing the morale up since they still are not happy with me. Yeah, we're only at 23. Um,. So we need to move, be able to move the water up, which we are in a positive. So we're going to move this up because we don't want them to get sick. And if we check, I think it's this one. Yeah. So if we go to the reports in life, we see that right now it's negative with the distribution rate. But we fixed that, so that should go back up into a positive. The only thing really missing is the health care. Right now we have... 30 healthy, 12 barely healthy people, and none that's considered sickly. So we're going to give them the water so they don't get sickly. You know, they need to bathe, get clean. And let's see here. What else we got? A stockpile. So let's go ahead and build a stockpile. That's basically kind of like a warehouse where they can store any excess amount of materials. Right now we don't have any, but... Ahead, good to get that set up. I think I'm gonna put it. Uh, put it right there. That's a good place for it. Uh, oh, actually, there you go. Full storage. And minus seven on the health. So the full storage. So we needed this anyway. So, and I'll show you when this gets built, where the storage is shown. I don't know where it's at any other way. Gross miscalculation. Uh oh, looks like we did something wrong. What's the point of increasing food shares if not everybody's going to get a bite? Uh oh. So, so let's re look at that and see who's not getting food. Oh, because we're down. Oh, we built the other kitchen and I didn't start it. Yay me. So, we're going to get this started. Put the people in. And that'll fix the, the food issue. Now we only have one worker left. So hopefully we can start getting some more people. So because we're gonna need some more workers soon. But is this working yet? Okay, yeah. So so see how the storage is going down? That's because they're using the logs to build the storage. So let's let's skip this along a little bit. That's what we're waiting on. Okay, it looks like. We need to build better shelters. They want us to build three more shacks. We'll get it done. Which don't know why, but there we go. So the store yard or stockpile puts all the materials we have in our resource all the resources that we've gathered. So you got your your stone, your logs, your iron, all stacked up. You can see them. But if we click on it, we can manage how much of each we keep in stock. Um, our total storage is 1800. This particular storage stockpile building holds 15 or not 15,000, not 1500. Um, the total space is 18,000, which is 3,000. I'm assuming from our main, our main hall holds that other three, but could be wrong on that. So we got this going, so our storage should be fixed. We're starting to be in the positive on tools. Iron, we're not making any extra, but we're staying some, somewhat positive. We're not hitting the negatives. Food, we're producing 28. 
added to 23 so we're, we're banking five per per day um, we're still doing good on the mushrooms but we are using more to make the food than we are harvesting but the meat is 18 a day and we're not using any but what's going to happen once we hit this up a little higher we are making we're getting eight a day let's tell you what let's switch this recipe to use meat because what it'll do we're getting well it says 30 now so we're getting 30 we're going to use four a day to make the suit the simple meals so that way we consume less mushrooms and we're still in the positive on the production of the meats so it's a constant balance of this in the in the game so let's see what else we got where can we go from here let's see here oh yeah the guy wants us to build three more he wants us we got to go another day with full rations let's see here, this one's done okay so now the tool should start yeah it's gonna go up by five or three a day because we're using two this will finally start going up so then the sh buildings see I hate that because we have to when they're not used for so many days they get run down and they have to be fixed if you look at it oh this one don't show it like the other ones oh yeah they start getting plants growing on them see how it looks a little run down and you have to pay a little fee to get it to, and have them fix it so people can move into it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually oh I gotta do it anyway don't I all right so we're gonna oh actually two people do live in this one but I'm gonna demolish this one and I'm gonna build it back because I got ahead of myself I'm gonna put that one there and then I'm gonna come right here in this open area and I'm gonna put some more because it'll that one that we tore down and rebuild will count toward our our three and put that one there and that one there um, that'll get these guys out of the tents here because there's a tent there and there we're still only got one guy to work so this is yeah so everything logs yeah everything's looking good so we'll leave that alone so the only yeah water's good how's their morale morale's kind of low but it's cause the tools we're producing for them I don't know if we move that up they'll need three a day so three a day we're making four so that'll keep us in the positive at least for a little bit longer and it should yeah it should move their morale up some more so now the only thing left to get them is some clothes how's their health so, yeah so housing we're working on healthcare is in need of services same way with clothing and they were dying for some entertainment which I think we finished that didn't we yeah we finished that so we'll put that up and we'll go ahead and start researching our um no we won't we need some iron so where's that place at here oh oh well see I never started the man so we'll put one guy here so let's balance this out we'll take one there put him here so now we didn't start it that's why we're not making iron okay well there we go that issue should be fixed now by the next day Oh, tavern. Let's go to where's the tavern? Utilities. There we go. So the tavern has a radius that shows you what it works on housing. So 
this is the five houses that have people in it if I put it say back here it covers all five they're all take that positive entertainment benefit so we're just gonna stick it right here behind the soup kitchen we're gonna slap a road here and a road here So, thanks. Okay, so they're happy with the rations. We completed the three new shacks. And now if we look at them, well, it's not built yet. So, oh, we need four more to one more ingot. So eight more population, which I believe we have. We just need them to grow up. Yeah, we got 15 children. They just ain't grew up. Oh, we got 12 sickly people. Oh no, it's never a good thing. So this should be under construction. So let's speed it along a little bit so it can start making them happy. Now why is these guys sick? is the health care. They need some clothes. Um, everything's... Yeah, water and food's regular. We're still making more than we're using. They got 100% housing. Entertainment should be... Almost there. Oh, we're out of power. Uh, to run the tavern. Oh, we gotta get the tavern going. But if we click tavern, oh, well, until it gets, oh, well, probably until it gets power. Is this tree done yet? Oh, we ain't even started it. So we need two more ingots. Let's do this. Let's pause. This building for a minute gets us those and we'll start that and then we'll pick oop, all that we'll start this back up so power is low the health of oh they're barely healthy so we got 12 they need some clothes so um and the storm's not helping because it's constantly raining here seems like so they're not liking that either. But, but they do have a bar now. Or a tavern now. So if we click on not there but here. They have entertainment. So they're not in the red no more. So now we need security and health. So and we're in autumn. Going into winter. Winter starting to progress up the bar. So we gotta look and see. They're doing pretty good on the mushrooms. So maybe, yeah, we got enough to last us through winter. Plus these guys will run all year round. And so we should be cranking up on the food pretty good. The metals, I might put another. Oh yeah, see they're going through. That one's completely grayed out and they're starting on a second one. So we're gonna have to put another one of these guys down. But we don't have nobody to work in it, so what we could do. Oh man, oh man. Um, resources. Is there any other iron? There's some, but it's way up there. And some right here. Ah, oh, here we go. So let's put this count. Um, we got a lot of trees here too. Mm -hmm. 
let's drop it in right there because then they can hit this and then we can hit them with the trees as well to build up our logs our lumber mills they're doing good what I might do is pull off two from one and one from another go back down and as soon as that's done we'll put them in down there looks like we did find a couple more people though so let's do this put this back up to four and that four okay and we'll see where we go so we're done with the windmills and we can't go into this one yet because that's the cycle three that's once once the city hits the cycle three we can get into this stuff which is farms clothing um, what else oh that's a scout it's not even security that scouts so but at least get us into clothing so they can start having better clothes and for their health maybe their health will start going up because their tools finally went up we're up into positive on that now um, let's go ahead and do this I'm going to go ahead and move this up to regular and that'll give them should put us assuming four a day I believe we're right there around there and we're still making 14 so we're we're going to be in the positive as long as iron can keep up and once this down here is done we should be able to keep up we'll put three into iron and let's put one into logs that way that's going on yeah so how's everybody looking Okay, so all the people are used. We need six more, um, six more workers. Their morale's in the 38. And that's because we're keeping it kind of negative five. If we dropped it back down, it would go up some more. But we're gonna keep it there because I don't want them to slack off too much. And now it's just a waiting game. Oh, utilities. Let's put a since we are in the negatives on power I am going to drop a windmill and windmills they do have kind of like their own little nodes of where the wind's going to blow better if we look at the bar on the tab here it goes up the more bars the more electricity it produces so we want to put it in a a good spot but not also not too far away from our Our city. And I'm thinking right here. It's putting up some numbers. Yeah, right there. So, I want it to face this way. Where's our. Yeah, our camp's right there. So, we should be able to tie it in by putting it. By putting it. Eh, let's run the road first. <laughs> eh. Road. Yeah. So we'll put it in here. I'm not sure what really dictates the electricity amount because no matter. I got it here. I have the five. But if we move it up, it's, it's four. But, if, but here it's. Maybe it is based on how many nodes you can pick into the the um, circle. I'm not really sure on how that works, but right now we're getting the most bars there, so we're going to put it right there. And since we have our road running, it already has the power lines, because when we put roads in, they put power lines in as well. So when this is finished being built, it'll tie into our, our power. Now it is looking for some iron. We're short eight iron so, so what we're, we're going to do is find our smithing place and turn it off for just a little bit so we're going to speed this up maybe speed it up twice there's one there's four there's... now we're going to pause it unpause this building so you can get back to making the tools 
our windmill should be yeah should be good there should be construction constructing it shortly so let's go ahead and just finish that what we're gonna do is get the power into positive here and we're gonna call this episode uh, bring it to a close anyway um, I'm not sure how long the video is but we'll just pick it up tomorrow there we go and it puts us up to a positive 120 and it looks like it's making 160 constant power or electricity so we're good that's a good place for that so everything's in the green except for our food keeps over oh, fast forward that's why let's stop that um we're now all of a sudden using more food than we're making that's because winter's almost over but we're gonna go back down here to this yeah so that's still going so let's go back up to the kitchens here real quick this kitchen so we're gonna turn this off and put it back to mushrooms because we do get more of those a day When they start back up right yeah okay scared me for a minute there okay and this one should be running mushrooms too yep so everybody's running mushrooms so this should start kicking back up once they run through the day um let's look at these matters real quick and then we'll end the episode so losing hope sir our unstable living standards are about to consume us. We're striving to keep a close eye on people's morale. Do something about their morale. Okay. And our year two comes to an end. So it gives us a little sheet. We got two new people joined us. We had 16 births. Population increased by six. Our, you know, our positive numbers. We had three developments completed. 13 new structures. Or structures. And one death. All right, guys, so we're going to pa actually pause it here. Call this the end of the episode. If you like what you've seen of New Cycle, please is check it out. It's on Steam. Um, also, if you have any tips, tricks, leave a comment at below. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying what you're watching, and we'll continue the next episode. Thanks.